Oh, boy. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you guys were here. Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today, we're going to talk about a woman who gets validation from her kindergartners. Here's some things my students have said slash done since I came out and changed my teacher name. You have a new name? Well, she said yes. that really quickly, so I'll just, just in case y'all missed it, she said things her kindergartners have said and done since she's come out. Hi, here's some things my students have said slash done since I came out and changed my teacher name. You have a new name? Well, yes, it's a name that makes me a lot happier, and that's why I changed it. I like your new name. I do too, but it's nice to know I have your approval. Mix? You mean like mixing you up like cookie dough? If that's going to help you remember it, yeah, cookie dough works. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss. I want to say this. She made it seem like the, the first grader was dumb for saying that. Like, I mean, if cookie dough work, they're first graders. You know how old first graders are, guys? Six or seven years old. Six or seven, eight would be the oldest. And that would be quite quite a bit older. But she's happy about this. Like, first grader says, like, cookie dough? I mean, if that works, you know why they say something like that? Because they're six and seven. They're not putting together. Oh, you mean you're a man and a woman and you uh, at some point in your life you decided that... You, <laughs> I don't even know. At some point you just... Because I'm, I'm an adult and I'm confused. Um, at some point in your life, you decided that uh, it would make more sense for you not to be called a man or a woman because you don't believe that gender actually exists and anybody can be whatever they want to be. And I, as a six-year-old, I'm supposed to be able to explain that intellectually to myself? Cookie dough. Okay, I need... It's Mix K! I did not ask them to do that. You're proud of that? I guess y'all missed that. Sorry, I just kind of played it. But I've already seen the video a couple times. Excuse me, Miss K, I need... I did not ask them to do that. Another teacher walks up and says, Mrs. K or Miss K. And the, all the kids turn around and go, it's Mix K? First of all, you're teaching the kids to be disrespectful. No, t no, no kids should be back talking to a teacher and saying it's Mix. It should be sitting there and just listening to what two adults have a conversation. But you're teaching the kids to be disrespectful to anybody who doesn't call you Miss. You understand that? They are in the school setting. And you're teaching these kids... And you're teaching... And you're teaching these kids to be disrespectful to anybody who walks in the room and says, Miss, even if they just forgot, I did not teach them to do that. You sound like a weirdo. The fact that you're getting any validation from us. Now you put second grade class. You know how old second graders are, guys? Pay attention. Seven to eight, nine at the absolute oldest, which would be an old second grader. Listen, at seven years old, you want seven-year-olds to defend you against other adults because they called you miss or may have forgotten or they just flat out don't care because they don't feel like being confused all day long. And if you're the, really a teacher, I can understand them calling you miss and be like, oh, here she go with this again. <laughs> it don't sound like you're a normal teacher. It sounds like you're a teacher who gets validation from little bitty kids. That There's something wrong with that. It's the same thing we see with other people. In it. <laughs> well, that's the story for another day. You guys are in fifth grade, so I feel like I can tell you this a little bit more. Um, my new name is going to be Mix K, and I go by they and she pronouns. Yay! Woo! You really made this video and thought that was normal. By the way, based off this video, I believe this video is older. 51,000.6 thousand hearts. A lot of things, when people put stuff on Twitter, they make it seem as if it's brand new. But at, as you guys see, normally when I go to watch a video, they're pretty old. Now, some videos are rather new when they get put on Twitter, but some people will put up videos from last year or two years ago. So this video may be very old. So she may have changed her mind, but that's not the point. The point of this video is to explain why there's something wrong with this. A fifth grader saying something like, yay, you changed your pronouns. Yay. Y'all know how fifth graders are, guys? About 10 to 12. Well, be in the okay. You're you're starting to understand here. Uh, a ten year old saying something like, "Yay, you change your what? What the f does they he mean? What? Uh, I I don't know any children that are just this deep into the LGBT blah 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 blah. Okay, I work with kids, and I work with kids in all different sectors. I worked in urban, and I worked in the city. Urban. <laughs> I worked in this. I worked in the Royal and I worked in the city. I worked in urban, if you know what I mean. And I worked in non-urban. 
and I do not hear any kids talking about they them constantly. Now, I do hear high school kids talking about it because high school kids are really deep into social media because they're always watching it. But little kids, they don't tend to talk about this very often. Not to the point where if a teacher said, I'm they them, that a, a fifth grader would even care to clap. Fifth graders don't care. They barely care about the teachers at all. So you would have to really push them to get you validated like that. Now, if you say you were pregnant, yeah, I'm sure teachers be like, I mean, kids be like, well, they probably wouldn't clap. They'd be like, oh, that's cool. Or I'm getting married. That's cool. I'm they them. What? Yeah, Mr. is for boys and Mrs. is for girls. Well, I go by Mix Log Bug. What does that make me? Uh. Yep, my work here is done. You see that? This is at kindergarten. Kindergartner. Kindergartner. Oh, kindergarten. Her says kindergarten. But kindergarten. So a kindergartner comes up to you and says, Mr. is for a guy, man, Mrs. is, or Miss is for a woman. But I go by mix. So what does that make me? And then the kid is like, what? And the kid is confused. And then she says, my job here is done. Your job is to confuse your kindergartners. That, that's your job is to make them more confused about life when they're just trying to learn how to spell their name and learning their ABCs. Your job is to confuse them even more by bringing in a man can be a woman and a woman can be a man because they say so. That is your job as a teacher. Guys, once again, leave the kids alone. Let them do what they're supposed to be at school to do. Don't just be spending all your time in the world just to confuse them. I don't talk to my kids. I don't go up there but like, oh, instead of learning math today, guys, we're actually going to learn about physics and not just physics itself, theoretical physics. And I'm not even talking about theoretical physics that is in the book. I'm going to talk about talk to you about conspiracy physics. I know they tell you that an apple can fall from a tree, but really the tree is falling up from the apple. Let me explain. I'm not... I'm not trying to confuse them with some mumbo jumbo. I know that was a great, crazy analogy, but you get what I'm saying. I'm not trying to bring up conspiracy theories that confuse the kids even more when I'm there to teach them math. I'm not there to teach them about, I'm not there to teach them about all these other things that I believe to be true just because I want it to be true, especially if they're five and six. I'm not, my job is not to make them even more confused while they're still trying to learn life and not just life. Just how to spell their name or even how to, well, most kids don't know how to say their name, but nonetheless, there's some kids who have speech impediments or struggling with their speech. They're just now learning that they can't hear well. There's so much going on as a five-year-old that to come in there and say, well, just want to let you know I'm one of those different people. They, them. No, no. Let me know what you think. Goodbye.